in our Science of Back Pain segment, Dr. Jeff explains what sciatica is and the science behind his treatment for this very debilitating condition. Between the head and the hips, 24 vertebrae. Between each vertebrae, there's a disc. Now inside the spine is the spinal cord. And in between each vertebrae, there is a nerve that exits through an opening called the foramen. Typically, when you have sciatica, pinching of the nerve of the spine, it's the bottom three. So what happens is that opening, you know, it's, it's an opening where the nerve comes out, will physically somehow be compromised. It'll be smaller. And what will make the opening smaller? Number one is a bulging disc. So the beginning phase of maybe a, a disc breaking down where the nucleus is pushing out a little bit, it'll cause the annulus to bulge out. Well, when the annulus is bulging out into the foramen, where the nerve is, it'll pinch the nerve. The second one is a herniated disc, where the nucleus, the center portion of the disc, pushes through to the outside, through the annulus, into the spinal canal, into the area where the foramen. That tends to be more advanced. The nucleus acts like a battery acid on the nerve and lights up that nerve and you'll feel it. And that's the intense burning pain that goes down your leg. And the third problem is what we call a degenerated disc. In the degenerated disc, ultimately what happens is the two vertebrae get closer together. And as the two vertebrae get closer together, the opening physically gets smaller. The fourth problem that will cause sciatica is what we call stenosis. Now stenosis is a term that means narrowing. So you can have stenosis in two areas. You can have it in the spinal canal. Number two is foraminal stenosis, where the nerves come out the side, that's the foramen. Sciatica can be very often pain in the back, sort of down into the glutes, sometimes down to the knees, sometimes all the way down the foot, but it's not just the pain. There can be muscle weakness that goes with it. There can be some burning sensation. It depends on what part of the nerve is being pinched, and each nerve is responsible for a different sensation. So depending on which part of the nerve is being pinched, you'll get different sensations, but you know, typically it's something that's going on down the leg. You can affect the disc with surgery, but very often what you're doing is you're taking the disc out, and then you're fusing it. But what we do is we rehydrate. Our goal with our treatment is to take pressure off the disc. And as we take pressure off the disc, we get healing in the disc. But also what happens as we take pressure off the disc is we can get the disc to move back to the inside, freeing up the space where the nerve is. And as we free up that space, back pain gets better because we're unloading the disc. We have the ability to free up the nerve in ways people have never had before. So it's not uncommon that you know, our patients that have tried everything get better. If you're suffering from neck and back pain, call the Illinois Back Institute for a free evaluation at 877-472-5171. Like us on Facebook for free tips, videos, and more. And follow us on Twitter to ask Dr. Jeff different questions. Or go to IllinoisBackPain.com. Heal the damage, rejuvenate your back, and live pain-free.